So do you want to make passive income? Does the idea of making money while you're not working sound appealing to you? Well, in today's video, I want to show you the thing that most people get wrong about understanding residual streams. So what's going on, guys? It's Yaziah, your success strategist. And in today's video, I'm going to give you the real deal about passive income. Yes, that's right. I'm going to break the bubble about all of the myths out there in the world about how everybody is becoming so successful about getting passive income. Everybody wants passive income because they hate their job. Everybody wants passive income because they want to live on the beach while making a dollar. And while we all want to live that dream, you got to know what is the truth. Is that really possible? Where the truth is this. When it comes to passive income, most passive income streams do not start out being passive. The majority of passive income streams, serious passive income streams that people actually live off of in America as a vehicle of retirement for them, it initially started out as a very active stream of income and over much time, diligence, dedication, and the right structuring, it evolved into a more passive income vehicle. So, you know, I've been blessed with having my own business. I've worked at a nine to five. I got real estate investments, et cetera, et cetera. And I've had to learn over the years that not all money is the same. See, if I'm doing a nine to five job, I'm only going to get paid primarily when I'm working. When I'm off the clock, I'm not getting paid. But my favorite type of income is the money that I will make from my tenant. Because with doing very little to no work throughout the month, I'm gonna be compensated with a rental check every single month, which is gonna be another additional stream of income. And the average millionaire in society today has seven different streams of income, so that way they're able to have their monies in a different place. See, you wanna be able to have money coming in from different areas. You don't just wanna have one stream of income because the minute that that one stream of income goes under or backfires on you, you never know what could happen, then that means that you go under, okay? So let's talk about properly setting up passive income. Passive income first begins primarily with one major active stream. This could be a business. You start up a business, you get it developed, you build it up to the right place, and then you are able to create such a level of consistent revenue from year to year that you can start stepping away from the business bit by bit. This is not something that happens overnight. This is not something that people think of today and it happens tomorrow. When you're looking at a person that has real passive income in society, they had to work for years to be able to get to that point. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, Uzziah, you're wrong. Because if I just put $5 in this account and make this investment, then that's going to give me passive income. Will it really? Will you be able to live off of a $5 investment or a $20 investment in whatever fad of the day that you heard is giving out passive income? See, the thing that most people don't understand is if you're starting to invest in a quote unquote passive stream of income that starts out by default as passive, you already need to be bringing a hell of a lot of money to the table. So if you're starting a business and that business is able to go from zero dollars to a hundred thousand dollars, well then yeah, you could start with a lot less and get yourself to a lot more and you can eventually be able to go from active to passive. But if you're not starting a business, but you want to be able to make some passive income, you might try to, you know, throw five dollars into some, you know, I don't know, investment account or, you know, play with stocks, Forex, Bitcoin, do whatever you want to do. 
But the thing about it is, if you don't have a good amount of money to be able to play with, your money's not going nowhere. You're not going to be able to live off of that. I'm just giving you the real deal. A lot of people like to say that they're investing in those things and they claim that they have passive streams of income, but yet you see them go to work at a nine to five every single day. So if that passive stream of income was that great, why are they still working at a job that they don't want to be at? You see that? The thing that you want to focus on that I'm really trying to convey to you in today's lesson is don't be in such a rush to go passive. The long-term goal or the, when I'm talking about long-term goal, I'm talking about a few years even down the line. I'm not talking about retiring. I'm not saying wait until a wheelchair, you're in a wheelchair, you know, at 75 years old to then start thinking about getting a passive income stream. I'm saying that right now, if you're starting from scratch, don't have the mentality where you're going to go from scratch and then instantly you're passive. Don't do that because there's no way that you could build a real passive stream of income coming from such a small position. Even if you had your money in something as simple as a bond in the bank. You could only start generating real passive income from putting money into a bond if you've already got a hell of a lot of money to put behind that bond, <laughs> right? How much compound interest is really going to come from a one cent investment? But if you got a million dollar investment, maybe now you're talking, right? The bigger your financial resources are, the better your money can work for you at a passive level. If you don't have a lot of financial resources to bring to the table, there's only so much compounding and leverage that you're going to get as a passive stream of income to work for you in the present moment. You see that? If you're really trying to compound something, you, I'm sure you've already heard about a 401k, an IRA, but those are retirement investments. Passive income investments right now for the present moment are not long-term viable, leave your job and say F your boss solutions because you don't have the right amount of money to bring to the table. Start active and then go passive. So this third point that I want to be able to share with you is about how to really think about going from going active to going passive. Because it doesn't happen by magic. You've got to start a business that would give you the ability to be able to make your income passive over time. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's say that somebody decides to start a business down the street from where you live, Joe's Burger Shop. And Joe's super serious about wanting to be a business owner. He eats, sleeps, and breathes entrepreneurship. And Joe is really good at being able to make some delicious burgers. So he works around the clock making these burgers. He shows everybody, you know, wow, look at what a good burger I can make. He's even giving out free samples. He's got the streets buzzing about how good his burgers are. But the question is, at what point is Joe actually going to be able to stop making burgers? See, if Joe doesn't consciously create a business model from the time that he started that restaurant that allows him to be able to take all of his knowledge about how to be able to build an excellent, delicious burger that everybody just wants to kill to have. If he doesn't have processes in place where he's able to show his staff how to be able to do that and systems to be able to run in his business and his business is running so effectively that he doesn't even need to be there himself. If he has not set up those technical aspects of his business, but all he's good at doing is actually making burgers, Joe will be working for the rest of his life. Joe will have made a harder life for himself working 60, 70, 80 hours a week as an entrepreneur every single week without fail than he would have had at a nine to five job where he could have gotten paid decently for 40 hours a week. You've got to understand how to be able to make your business long-term passive. It doesn't happen by default. 
you might be watching this video and you've got a, an excellent business idea. You've got something that you really want to do. Maybe you're good at making something. Maybe you're good at ser providing a certain service. But because of the fact that you have never thought through, well, you know what? The only way that I have a real business is if I'm not even in it. So I've got to, instead of just focus on product development, I've got to focus on building the right business structure so that my business could run even without me. Because of the fact that you don't really think about that up front, you get deeper and deeper and deeper into building a business that you're never able to step out of it because nobody knows how to do, run the business outside of you. If you're good at making a product, nobody else knows how to make that product but you. If you're good at making a service, if you're marketing your business, if you're handling the accounting, if you're you know, managing a staff, if no one else understands how to operate those specific skill sets in your company without you, you're never gonna to get to a point of being able to have passive income. The only way that you're gonna be able to build real real passive income, not just play play income while you're still at the nine to five that you can't stand, is if you're starting with a business from scratch, you're working hard at that business every single day. You're delivering something of value. People are giving you money in exchange of the value that you're delivering to them. And you are obsessed with documenting the processes of how you went about making this product and interacting with the customer. You've got to be able to leave a blueprint on how your business is to run. This is the only way that you can really get to a passive level and start stepping away from your company day by day. It's not going to happen overnight. And that's the reason why you really got to start developing a long-term vision for where you want your business to go. Who knows? Maybe your business doesn't go passive until you're five years in. Maybe until you're 10 years in. Maybe you might decide that you want to be working at it for a while. But the whole point is you can't expect for it to happen overnight and you can't expect for it to happen by accident. These are things that you're going to have to start putting down on paper. Okay? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to leave me a comment below and I want you to tell me how you're going to start building passive income. What is going to be your plan, right? How are you going to go about achieving this? Passive income is possible. I know that because I'm someone that's reaping the benefits of it. As a real estate investor, I get passive income. And guess what? Even to some degree, even though I work on my business full time, there's still a certain level of passivity <laughs> in my business because I don't always make money while I'm actually working. I can make money while I'm sleeping. I can make money while I'm having dinner. I can have be making money while I'm at the movies. I do not physically need to be there, nor does my staff as money is coming in. So... I'm starting to structure my business in such a way where I'm allowing that to happen. It doesn't just happen by magic. And if I'm not creating little passive income elements in my business, I'm always going to be a slave to my company. And so if you're interested in being able to figure out how to actually start building these different passive structures into your business that doesn't happen by magic, I want you to click the link below so that way you can get into the Empire Builder. This is a free gift that I'm giving to you that's going to show you how to make the transition out of your nine to five job so that way you can build your own independent stream of income that we're going to work long term towards getting it to being passive while you're able to work from home, travel the world, be wherever you want to be while money is still coming in. This is not something that happens instantly, but it could happen a hell of a lot sooner than you think if you know how to start building it. Don't think that you're just going to figure this out on your own. Don't think that you're just about to Google, oh, how to make passive income, and it is going to show you all the steps. Trust me, if it was that easy, do you really think that as many people in America today would still be at their nine to five job? 
you got to learn how the game is played from somebody that's actually doing it. So click the link below to get into the Empire Builder, and I'll see you on the next video. Please make sure to subscribe and share this message. Take care.